148 and I'm back with another video. Now, I went on a trip recently and I'm hoping to have a video about that soonish. There's a lot of editing that goes into that. But while on my trip, I went to some quilt stores. Yes, I went to some quilt stores and I purchased a few things. Now, I have not used everything that I bought on our big trip last year, so I tried to be rather reserved. Also, you probably know that I am trying to use what I have and organize what I have so that I'm sure what I have is what I love. Does that make any sense? So I'm trying to be very particular about what I add into my stash. I need some water. I'm sorry. So when I went to these stores, I had a very specific criteria for what I could and what I couldn't buy. I didn't want to buy um, yards of fabric because I'm trying to cut down on how much yardage I just hold on to and instead buy yardage when I have a project in mind for it. And I tried not to buy um, a whole bunch of pre-cuts like charm squares. I have a lot of charm squares, jelly rolls, things like that. I wanted to really try and be reserved in what I spent. And I'll say I get about a 75 out of 100. So a C, a solid C. Um, but I wanted to show you what I got. I will say I also went to dollar, uh, uh, a Dollar Tree down there and it was huge compared to mine and I bought a bunch of stuff there that I will share along with some dollar spot stuff from Target in a later video. One of the things I knew I wanted to get was um, a row quilt. Earlier this year I made this row quilt from a kit I bought last year. I can't remember what year this was from, but this is the Log Cabin Quilt Shop row by row. I, I want to say it's, let me see, hold on. I can't. I want to say this is the 2018, but it could be the 2019. So I, I wanted to get another one of these. And I found one, and then I learned that they put one out every year, but they're not, they stopped this year. They're not doing it anymore. They're doing something different. Uh, I think it's a block, but I really like the rows. So at Log Cabin Quilts, Quilt Shop, I picked up the 2017 row by row, which is, this is what it looks like. And you guys can laugh at me, it's okay. I said to Kristen, oh look, there's a dog in the back of the buggy. That's not a dog. That's an Amish person wearing a hat. Anyway, this is really cute. So I picked this up and this was really inexpensive. I think it was only like $11.99. And you'll see how inexpensive that is in just a few minutes. So that was one purchase. Also at the Log Cabin Quilt Shop, I bought two packs of Fat Quarters. These were eight fat quarters for $14.99 and they all either match or coordinate and I thought this would be great for a quilt. Um, I don't have a quilt in mind but this should be enough with a coordinating fabric potentially and backing and binding and whatnot to make a whole quilt so I got that. And I really like it. This was one of my favorites. This is what sold me on it, but it's only in one of them. This little alphabet. It's cute. It's adorable. So I got two of those. And like I said, these were $14.99, which is not bad of a price for fat quarters. It's not fabulous, but it's not bad. And I really like the colors. It's just very, very feminine colors. So I got those. And I'm not going to open them because then I'll never get them back the way they're supposed to go. And then, because I'm not buying any charm squares, I got charm squares! Um, these were $9.99 each, and if you're not familiar with charm squares, uh, a charm pack contains every print in a fabric line, one 5x5 square of that. Um, 
Yeah. And this one is 42 charm squares. I think sometimes it has two of some. Yeah, sometimes it has two. But it's 42 squares nonetheless. I'm talking in circles here. And um, I was a sucker for this one because there's a sheep right on the front of it. And I have coordinating charms that would be great to just make a simple-ish quilt with these. So I got two of the Farm Charm Charm Packs. Oh, that's a little high. Farm Charm Charm Packs. And I can show you a little bit. Not really. Um, there's some chicken fabric. Oh, you can't see that one. This some chicken fabric. These are just all really cute. There's a lot of florals. There's a sh headless sheep. There's more than one sheep. Um, the horses you can't see. Okay, there's the horses. And chickens again in red or pink or melon or some something like that. There's just a red and white of the front fabric. These are just really pretty. These really spoke to me. There's the black and white. So I got those. But that is all the pre-cuts, the charms that I bought. So I feel good. And that was... Oh no, I got one other thing at that shop. And I don't recall how much... Oh, it says it right on here. This is $9.95. This is a Thimble Blossoms pattern. And I love Thimble Blossoms patterns. Um, I've only done two. But... I'd like to do some more and I thought this was really cute and it is the home body mini quilt or pillow and it was $9.95. Now I'd like it even more if I could find these actual color, these actual prints because I really like this blue house. Um, so I, I did also get this. Um, from Log Cabin Quilts. I really like that store. Uh, I have barely begun to scratch the surface of quilt stores in Amish country, in Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Amish country, but I really do like that one. I also went to a store called Miller's Quilts, and Miller's, Qu I've often explained to Kristen and Tom that a quilt store doesn't sell quilts, it sells stuff to make quilts. Well, kind of ate my words on that one because Miller Quilts sells quilts. All the quilt stores sell quilts also there, but usually they sell fabric too. This one didn't sell fabric, but they did have a few patterns and notions and things like that and some gorgeous quilts. So Miller Quilts was next. And I picked up this book and I just thought it was adorable. Now, there was no price on it, and I didn't know until we were out of the store how much it cost. It was $28, <laughs> which is a lot, but I looked online, and same price online, so I don't feel bad. And it's really cute. It is Zootropolis, and it has all these adorable animals. And what I really like about this book is that it has the directions on how to make this quilt and it also has directions on how to turn each and every one of these into a pillow like this which is simple enough to figure out but it's even simpler when someone tells you exactly how to do it um, the other thing I liked about this book is that typically in my experience when you buy quilt patterns with animals on it you either get farm animals you get zoo animals or you get domestic animals this has them all this even has a mouse in the door this has a hedgehog it has a sloth an owl a flamingo and of course a sheep so i really liked this and uh i probably would not have bought it if i saw the price but i'm not going to regret it it's adorable so it was that. Oh, what did I drop? And I bought one other thing there. And this was $10. And I thought this was interesting. And it reminded me a lot of the quilts in Amish country. They also have a lot of um, handmade ornaments you can buy there in a similar fashion. And this is a, res a recipe, a pattern for folded placemats. 
Let me take it out because it's kind of glary. And if I didn't say already, this was $10. And I thought they were really pretty. And they could probably they would be very useful. And on the back it says, you know, the supplies needed, which I don't have any problem showing you. But this is a bit, this is, you can't see it, this is a lot of pages. Uh, this is a little bit more complicated than I thought it would be. But I'm up for a challenge eventually. And, yeah, interesting. It's an interesting pattern. It's an interesting way of doing things. And I'll try just about anything once. So that was the other thing. I just put it in backwards. I bought at Miller Quilts. The last store I went to, which I actually went to first, was the Old Country Store in downtown Intercourse, Pennsylvania. And they are, what do I call it? The Old Country Store. Is that what I said? Yeah. So they are a combination of a quilt store, a really decent sized quilt store, and a country store, which is awesome. So I did pick up one thing there that was not quilting related, and that is this Amish canning and preserving book. And the thing that's great about this is this is all water bath canning, not pressure canning, which is what I am most comfortable with. I, I don't have a pressure canner. They make me extremely nervous. That may change over time. I was also afraid of Instapots for a while, and now I have an Instant Pot. So this is packed full of jams, jellies, relishes, pickles, um, soups, soups, pickled beets, dilly beans. Did I say soups? Salsa, ketchup, pizza sauce. V8 juice, which I'm not going to make. Um, so this was this is a great book, and it's very aesthetically pleasing. So I picked this up because we, you'll see in a future video, we also went to a seed store, and we are going to attempt to have a fairly substantial garden next year, and canning is going to be one of our best friends, hopefully. God willing, the the garden will produce enough to can so I picked up that then in the quilt shop part of the store let's move this because it's all gonna go flying I can see it already I got some quilt things now these were this is also the row by row I got the 2017 pattern and this is called scoot in and this comes with all the fabric to and the laser cut images. And I mentioned the one from Blog Cabin was $11.99. This one was $25. So a little bit more expensive, but really cute. I love the little scooters. And Tom loves seeing the people on the scooters, so I like that one. And I also picked up the 2018 Row by Row because I love this one. Love it. It's so pretty. And this is Sleigh Ride. And I should have showed you this. This is how it comes. This comes with everything you need to make the front. All you need to supply is the interfacing, the backing, and the binding. And then these are the colors for the scootin' one. It's really... And these are so much fun. I really, really, really enjoyed the one I did last year. Which, let me see if I can get it out again. The, this one. I, I enjoyed this immensely. I did it wrong. But nonetheless, I'm probably going to do them all this way. I, I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. And it didn't take too much time, so that, you know, having a finished object, instant gratification, that's the word I'm looking for. It was quasi-instant gratification. There's one other thing that I got, and Kristen picked this up for me. This was at, this was at a farm, an Amish farm. That I can't remember the name of. 
and it's not on here. Um, but she saw this and she picked it up for me and I love it. I saw it last year and I didn't buy it. Um, but it was really sweet of her to, to get this for me. And I, I do love it. And that is this Wooly Sheep Wall Quilt Kit. Reading backwards is not my skill. So, and this is wool. This comes with the fabric for the quilt, the background, the backing, and the binding. So this is everything you need. Other, oh, it even comes with the batting. This is everything except for the thread. And probably the fusible transfer paper. Anyway, this was $23.99. And that's what the wools look like. Um, this over here is cottons. This is a, a homespun, this plaid, and the rest is wools. So I'm excited to try this. I have some wool kits, smaller ones, that I bought last year. So there were on my list of goals for this year and I haven't gotten to them yet, but this is going to be fun. This is going to be really fun. So this will probably be a 2021 project. All of these will probably be 2021 projects because I have some things I need to finish for 2020. So that's what I picked up in terms of quilty souvenirs from Amish country. That and my canning book, which I love. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you saw something that you liked. I think that's all I have for today. In the meantime, I'm going to try and start saying this. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of what I do, hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys real soon. All right? Bye, guys.